Hey, Cougars, breaking news. It's Attendance Spirit Week this week. Today is Stronger Together. We're supposed to be wearing sports or team gear. Tuesday is Attend Hut, wear camouflage or green. Wednesday is Don't Stress, Do Your Best, wear your Crocs or crazy socks. Thursday, Engagement Day, wear patterns, as many different patterns as you can. And Friday is School Spirit Day. Wear blue and white, our school colors, or a school shirt. Hey Cougars, welcome to On The Ball. I'm Aiden. And I'm Felix. Hope you all are having a great day. I know I am. National Hispanic Heritage Month. It started on the 15th. Let's watch a video to learn more about it. Every year, Americans observe National Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th by celebrating their histories, cultures, and contributions of America. Citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. Here are some movies to watch with your family during Hispanic Heritage Month. Blue Beetle, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Canto, In the Heights, West Side Story, Dora and the Lost City of Gold, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Instant Family, Overboard, Coco, Ferdinand, El Americano the Movie, McFarland USA, Spare Parts, Huevos, Little Rooster's Excellent Adventure, Guardians of Oz, Underwater Dreams, The Book of Life, Cantinflas, Cesar Chavez, Rio 2, Cinnamon, Rio, Puss in Boots, La Leyenda de la Llorona, Monte Carlo, Spy Kids, All the Time in the World in 4D, Nothing Like the Holidays, Under the Same Moon, Gold, The Dream Begins, The Legend of Zorro, Spanglish, Spy Kids 3, Game Over, Real Women Have Curves, Spy Kids 2, The Island of Lost Dreams, Tortilla Soup. So it's not September and it's not October. Right, it was, it was the 15th to the 15th. Now here's another teacher who joined Nellie Kaufman. I teach seventh grade English. So currently we're reading The Hobbit. Um, and we're kind of developing the skills needed for citing evidence using parenthetical citations. Okay. How do you like Nelly Coffin so far? It's really great. Um, I have a really supportive staff and it helps me um, with the resources I need to succeed. Remember when, when we had that, that big storm it went, and when school closed for three days? That was crazy. We made a special feature about it. Tropical Storm Hillary was a storm of Category 4. The storm formed on August 16, 2023. Storm Hillary hit land in North Mexico on August 20. The school was closed for three days. Here are some cougar interviews. Looking at all the water, like it was a good amount. It was a... Uh, we just tried to keep calm. Just got some sandbags and that was it, really. Um, there, we weren't really too bothered because our house is uplifted a little. Not scared, but I was chilling because I don't like the thunder. Um, my house started leaking and it was flooding in my patio. Yeah, there was like a lot of flooding. I was excited because, you know, it doesn't rain here much and it was going to be cold. My mom and Grandma, we're a little worried because it's a hurricane and a lot could go wrong. We just wouldn't go buy more food because we ran out. 
help my parents put the sandbags around the house. Something I was doing in that state of time was laying in bed until I heard the raindrops on top of my roof, so I went outside to check. Something I did to help my family around the house was put sandbags all around so then no water would come through. Here at this week's announcements. Skills USA will be meeting on Tuesday at 3.45 in room 105. Football practice will be on Tuesday and Friday at 7 a.m. Volleyball practice will be on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 7 a.m. The very first meeting of Young Interpreters will be on Friday at 8 a.m. on room 201. Have you lost your ID? Here's what to do. Did you lose an ID on campus recently that you can't find? Well, if you did, here's what you can do to find or replace it. Firstly, you can check the basket in the office for your old ID. If you can't find your ID in the office, then ask your advisory teacher for your old ID. If you do not have an old ID, then ask for a paper one from anyone in the office before or after school. Now it's time for the Vox Pop. Uh, my favorite cafeteria food is probably like the chicken. Favorite food is taconadas. My favorite cafeteria food is the chicken sandwich. My favorite cafeteria food is probably a chicken sandwich. My favorite cafeteria food is the pizza. Usually ask my friend to go get me six. I eat it all. My favorite cafeteria food is like the wings. My favorite cafeteria food is the sausages. Uh, my favorite cafeteria food is fruits and that's all it bro. What about you cougars? That's all for this week cougars. I'm Felix. And I'm Aiden. Bye. Bye.